the barn scene oh. that was the sex scene. Right. Why did that get cut out? Uh, well, that's the great mystery, right? Um, unfortunately, from what we're, what we're finding out that a lot of the outtakes don't exist anymore. And uh, that was an issue of, of Fire and Warner's. But that scene was very, very tame. Uh, Al was there, and we had Donald Thorin. Mm -hmm. It was a small crew. We were both terrified. I was perspiring profusely. You could see it in the photos. And uh, Prince wore, you know, undies, and I had, you know, undies. And I remember, you know, Al says, I just want you to lean in and just kiss. And that, that was, was it. First you time know? you kissed him then? Was on camera? Yes, yes, yes. And we kissed, and we were both nervous. Uh, I was just terrified. You know, those kind of scenes aren't easy to do. No way. And especially, you know, with someone like him. And the beautiful thing that I have to say is that in all that time I was looking at him, he kept his eyes on my eyes, nowhere else. He was professional. Was he nervous? Yes. We were both terrified. We were trembling. We were scared. How many takes? At one time. No. Yep. One time yep. you guys got that? The, the first love, try. The love scene yeah. in his room also. We were terrified. He brought uh, a little ghetto blaster and he started playing some music. And we just pretty much improvised. Al Magnoli says, I want you to do this and that, grab her leg. And a lot of it was imp improv, you know. Really? Yes. It was that like was a, a dance. It was a sexy scene. It was a sexy dance. Yes. So, because Prince and I never dated, we did put our passions that we had towards each other on film. And that I realized at my age now. It's like, that's what we did, is that we put all of that, that tense feeling of, you know, uh, excitement. And, you know, I thought he was cute and, you know, he liked me, but it was all for the film. Yeah. So it worked. If he wanted to date you, would you have entertained the idea? No. Really? You would yeah. have turned down Prince. I'd date Prince. <laughs> <laughs> well, because it, we never, it was never that way. He always treated me very much like he put me on a pedestal, like a mom, like a little sister, like a daughter. But again, you know, he was difficult. We had our, you know, our arguments. Sure. Always. You'd stand up to him. Oh, yeah. I, I was the one that would say no or, you know, A, B, and C, and he'd be like, you know, make his faces, but I know that I was able to get his respect, you know, so. Well, Prince wanted everyone to sing like him, dress like him. Yes. You know, he's a tyrant. And, yes, um, we, we did. <laughs> did you feel that that was robbing you of your kind of identity or your music or your, you know, goals maybe? At the time, I didn't think about it. I don't think any of us thought about it. We were just so honored, you know, that he created clothes for me. And uh, the fact that he was, he picked alphas in females and males. He yeah. created legends. So the fact that we were able to, you know, dress like him or, you know, he wanted to sing a certain way or dance a certain way is an honor. And I never thought twice about, you know, oh, I'm going to regret this.